I'm Honey Badger, and I want a shot at the champ. I'm Devin Hester, and I played 11 years in the league. You may know me from my punt returners. I'm going to give a kid a shot at the champ. I'm Honey Badger. I started playing football when I was six. Started off with flag football. That was really about just getting my shimmies down, getting how to juke people, getting away from them. Then I got tackling. When I got player of the year and running back of the year, that's a big goal I made. A little bit of haters saying like, what can you do on the field? But my shoulder, I can do anything. I want to be a fitness trainer, but if that doesn't work out, I want to be a football player and it feels good being able to go against one. The thing I like about football the most is the contact. Cause it's a physical sport, got to get physical. I'm gonna be Hester today because I have a lot of speed and my agility is like that. I feel like I'm gonna get the win off today. So I started playing football at the age of around four or five. It was more so of uh, the neighborhood I grew up in. Um, all the kids did it. It was just a hobby that we did after school and I just grew a passion for it. The love for just crossing the end zone just grew stronger and stronger each and every day I grew up. It's so much more advanced now. Kids got so much access to the YouTube. Um, the coaching now is it's way better. You know, you're getting a lot of coaching that's taking it more serious. Back in the day, you just had coaches that just wanted to coach. Now, majority of the days, you have coaches that know what they're doing, and that know you know what I mean, football now. More technique now, more than just banging and banging and banging back in the day. So kids nowadays are so much advanced compared to when I grew up. I have a kid that plays right now. He's uh, up and coming. He's always on the, uh, the YouTube and the IGs and uh, Honey Badge is one of the top kids that's, that's right now standing out amongst the, the, the youth right now. So my son is, is, is watching him. Target practice. First round, we got five tries. All right, first one, get close to the cone. I normally don't practice throwing, but got a little bit of accuracy, but I'll try. I would rate my throwing ability ah, a six. <laughs> I was the guy to catch and run the ball, so I didn't really play a lot of quarterback growing up. Let's see what you got, you first. All right. Okay. That was me. I got the first win. Okay, okay. We're gonna let you go again. Are you want win to go first? You can go first. Going out of uh, target, knowing that the ball is gonna bounce, my first mentality is I gotta make sure that I put enough distance on it to get it there first. So easy, you still got, you got a shot. It ain't that close. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> Took a weird bounce. Two and no, don't get nervous now. You got no, I'm good. You get five tries, right? We threw two already, so. I'm 2-0. Oh. If I make this one, it's an automatic game. If he makes this one, he got a shot. He got to make three in a row to win. Three in a row. He's going first. <sighs> Come on, hand work. There you go. I'm going to take two steps back, man. I want, I want to make it fun, man. <laughs> I already got that one. Let's move on to the next round. First drill in the book, three and no. On to the next one. After you see, it's not really my thing, but it's all right. We'll move to the next challenge. Not really a, a great quarterback, but I was able to get through the first challenge, so we'll see what's next. Challenge two. So this is what we're doing. Balancing with one leg, exploding off. Fast as you can to the cone and back. But since I'm the champ, we're gonna give him an extra second. He is a lot older than me, but I feel like my speed is just when I turn out and when I get back, I feel like I'm gonna beat him in that. Um, I think I, my balance is still where it needs to be to compete. Hopefully I can get in and out my break and get back as quick as possible. Going against a kid, uh, I think I still got a little speed left in the tank, so I think that's going to help me out to get over this challenge. So he just went, his time was 358, so that means I got to beat 258. I got 328. I'm going to take an L on this one here. I want to challenge three. He's a grown man, and for me to beat him in the speed drill, especially for that's what he's known for, that makes me feel amazing. I beat him, and that's what I do. Speed is key. I give him that one. Let's look forward to the next one. If 
final challenge. Fastest one through the cones. The opponent be standing at this cone here. He pulls the flag. It's additional two seconds off. So let's find a drill. One opportunity each. Ready to do this? Yeah. Let's go. I gotta brush a little bit of cartwheels off me, but um, running routes against a kid, um, having him try to pull my flag, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Could it get it? Football is a sport of inches, so the quicker you can get back to top speed, the easier it'll be. I think I'm gonna do pretty good. Catch the ball, give him a little something, something, get back up top speed. This is something I practice every day. He got big legs, he's a grown man. I thought I could beat him, but I tried my hardest. How you feel, man? Tried to break down, tried to re react to it, but he got up quick enough. So when I tried to cut back, he broke down. I thought he was going to keep flying, but when I cut back, he came right back. So by then, he already got my flag, but it was a good time. I had a good time. I'm still the champ. He did get me a one, which is two to one. But at the end of the day, I'm very impressed with your talent and the way you move and the way your football knowledge is of moving around the field. Let's go play some catch. Remember what I told you when you're running on routes though, all right? Yeah. Especially like on the deep balls. You got them? Yeah. So whenever you run them deep balls. You know what I mean? A lot of people tend to do that when the ball is overthrown. You're just trying to reach out for it, right? Yeah. But you're running like this, right? So imagine running like that in the track meet, right? You're going to run slow. Yeah. So. Imagine when you, now you're trying to run fast. Imagine trying to run fast like that when you got five more yards to go. You ready to pump your arms and dig. So at that last minute, that's your only hope, right? Yeah. To catch them deep ones. So a minute that you got somebody on you and the ball is thrown deep, don't stick it out there and be running like this because you're slowing yourself down. Pump your arm, last minute, boom. All right? Yeah. If I can get a shot at the champ, it would be Deion Sanders. Uh, he was the guy at his age that I idolized, I looked up to, and I always, you know, admired. I uh, look forward to you, uh, watching you in the future, and uh, your success as you continue to grow. Thank you.